Rosalind and welcome to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, we're going to be cutting our own hair. So basically, I've had very long hair. As you can see, it's super, super long. And I'm always cutting my hair like five fingers, even more. And my hair grows super, super, super fast. And I've had long hair for a few years now. Now that we are in the fall season here in Miami, it's still so, so hot. It's so humid. Every time you go out, it's too much. I should have done this before in the summer, but I didn't think about cutting my hair. And I think it's about time that I do something new and I want something so different, a new style. And I've been cutting my hair. Sometimes I cut my hair even or sometimes in the long B shape. And that started since I used to go to the salon and sometimes I would color my hair and they would put a different color on my hair. What happened to me one time, I went to the salon and I asked the lady for the long B-shape haircut. I don't know why I didn't check when I was there, but when I got home, my hair was just even. It did not have the long B-cut. And I thought maybe I didn't explain myself too well. The second time, I took a photo of the exact haircut that I wanted to get, and guess what? She did the same thing. She did not do the long be haircut. So since then, I stopped paying, I stopped going to salon, and I just cut my own hair. So today's haircut is going to be very different from what I've done before. It's going to be a long bob, so that means short from the back and a little bit longer from the front. And there's two types, the short bob and the long bob. So I'm going to be doing the long bob. So if you want to see how to cut your own hair in the long bob haircut, just keep on watching. So you want to make sure your hair is super clean and that you have no tangles at all. And now you're going to part your hair where you usually do. Okay, so we're going to make a low ponytail and make sure it's low and it's very tight. elastic and we're going to place the second elastic so you're going to slide this one so just make sure it's at the length that you want to cut your hair and with your fingers you want to loosen up your hair around the ears So now it's time to cut your hair and just do it little by little and don't worry if it's not straight because later on we're going to do the touch up. And now we're going to remove the elastics. And now you're going to put your hair to the front and just make a line in the center. And now we're going to retouch our hair. So you're gonna comb your hair and even it out and just repeat the same steps until it's all even. And now for the next step, you wanna straighten your hair which is gonna make a difference for the next step which is very important. Okay, so in this last step, once our hair is dry, we're just going to cut the ends and that way the ends won't look too sharp. And that's it you guys. What do you guys think? I really love it. It's so different. It's something really new to me. And I hope this video was helpful as always. 
And if you have liked this video, you can give it a like. That lets me know that you have enjoyed this video. And you can subscribe. That way, every time we make a new video, you get a notification. And you can follow me on all social media accounts with the same name, Lynn Sire. I have Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. So thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Thank you.